Hello, church family online and here at our church. Atalo Fatu, this welcome and all the way to Kiriso. Ilatato, I am a lot to me of Yafi. Hallelujah. Before we start, I'd like to share a verse from the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 1. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things, things planned long, long ago. Isaiah Lord Yuma Fayu Pomo Moleli Ia Olo Otua Lava Oi O Te Fa'an E Ne'e Ia Te Oi O Te Bi I Atu I Lo Suafa A Wao E Faya Mea E O Fawai O Mea Na E Pulu Ia E Talu Ana Mo E Fa'a Mao Ni Ia E Mo Ni Lava Hallelujah Let's get ready to worship tonight Free, free, free Oh, 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 oh,
day of your life. Hallelujah. Every struggle you go through. Yes. Hallelujah. Every day that you thank you, Lord. Live thank you, throughout your lifetime. Thank you, Lord. Jesus is all you need. Hallelujah. Jesus will always be enough. Each and every day. Enough in the morning, afternoon, and the evening. Enough at work, enough at home, school. Wherever you go, whatever arises, Jesus is all we need. And he's so worthy of our praises, so worthy of our acknowledgement. What are you, Sulaba? We're going to go to our time of prayer. I just want us to sing that song that we, we sing sometimes. Somebody here needs this prayer. Because I know we all need a prayer. At one point or another, and sometimes... In more, more in some situation. <laughs> but I know in every situation we need a prayer. We're going to sing that song. And I just want you to close your eyes and remember the previous song that Jesus is all you need. And whatever your prayer is tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Fiafi, where she the fear of Macho Lotto, where she the fear of Macho Mana on the Oma, where she the fear of Lemon now, Mias and Malo, Longo Latino, and Lea Fiafi, Leo now, Mias and Malo, Longa Luna, and Anna Pull on the Muff of Fowl, or Lea Tua, or Oyo, my Italian, and Nami Oma. I want you to swap from my lawyer, Sukari, so I up a mile of our man will see. Buy ya too in a tino, put a mouth of foul, put a lot of all over now. Me as a salotoma, and then they are happy. Fast out lots of my way to my boy. They see the fear of Matuman, only a young Matu, and a lot to let you up. But I want you to buy ya to ya, and your own one in Calisia. Le ala umana onga lo fer nai mai lato o oi la be mo ai le tali o e mo ai le le malo longa o e mo ai me umma le tuai pa ya tu ya inga tai tasi o matu ai lo ti ya matu mai le le mo matu a se yo le wala ti ti le tuai sa ma matu na matu tuai tu fa fo i longa la tu ma lo si fa fo i la tu ma na ye mo ai pe ni aso se tele ma to te ma futa pa ta si ai o ni oli pa ta si ai na lo lu e pa ta si ai a wa le a ti na ina la fe a o ma la na me mo to ma ha we si le fi e fo ni so ma to o so o lo fe na ye mo ta la ba ile ne e fi a we si le fi e o la to ngo a le tu a ba ya tu o la to ti Pai ya tu la to tino ile ne tei mi ile ne tu la o fa malo longa we might tell a bible before mai pa fe tai Jesus malo mato fa malo longa ni si fo ye lo mo la to tino in mai matinga we see the fear for you la to to ma la wa tu ye ni 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 mai la fa malo longa. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, I just pray for those that have a need today, tonight, at this moment. Maybe they're here in church, or maybe they're listening through the internet right now. In the name of Jesus. We pray that you will reach out to wherever they may be and touch that knee. Touch that knee, Lord. Pray for those that have the need of, to be reconciled back to you. Lord, we pray for them. Let them have that, Lord God. Father, we just lift up our missionaries tonight. Yes, Lord. Whatever country that they're called to be, and if they're stuck here in the U.S., we pray that you would open up the door so they can be back to where they, that you have called them to be, to serve you. Bless those that are still in the mission field. Protect them and their families. Continue to use them there. Father, we pray for our Samoan district, from our superintendent down to the presbyter, from the district level down to the section level, all the pastors of each church, down to the church member. Lord, I pray that you would bless them tonight, that they continue, Lord, to work diligently for you, fulfill what you have placed in their hearts, and place on their lives to do for you, Lord God. Pray for our nation here in America, Lord God. Your hand will continue to be on our land. Help those that are God-fearing, that are in leadership position, Lord, uh, to do what's right. And Father, pray for those that are trying to create chaos Lord, that you would mess up their plans. Don't let them succeed, Lord God.
Father, we, would, we also pray for our island nation of Samoa. And their politics and what they're going through, we ask that your hand will be upon that. Pray for Tutuila, American Samoa. Lord, bless our families that are there. Pray for all the bad things that are going on in our world. Lord, that you would come and get relief. Pray for this virus, Lord, as we still battling and we're still, Lord, we pray that you would come and totally eradicate this virus. Bring relief to our land and to our world. Father, more importantly, we pray for the church of Jesus Christ to rise up in these times, to preach the word, to preach the good news, to preach the gospel. Whatever opportunity we get, Lord, let us make the most of that. Father, I pray for your church, the universal church, Lord God. Those that have callings upon their lives, that they will take out that, take that step to fulfill that calling. That those that are in your calling, Lord, that you would give them the strength, Lord God, to do the work that you have called them to do. Pray for our families that need to, to have Jesus in their lives. Pray for their salvation. Use us to be instrumental to bring people to Jesus. matter what their background, where they came from, if they look like us or not, Lord, help us just to get the word out. Just to get the word out. Bless our church folks that are here with us tonight. Bless our folks that are watching through the internet. Bless those that might be working tonight, Lord God. Be with them, Jesus. Remember our men and women that are serving in the military, as well as our children that are serving. Bless them and their families tonight. Pray for the first responders, firemen and policemen, those that help in our community. Father, be with them. Our doctors and our nurses. Bless them and protect them. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come together Wednesday evening, Lord God. Bless all of us that are here, Lord. We thank you. Pray all these things. Father, forgive us of our shortcomings. Forgive us of our sins. We ask humbly in the precious name of Jesus. And all the saints say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, praise the Lord that you're here with us, not only here in spirit, but bodily, physically here. And those of you that are here through, uh, what do you call that thing? Internet. Internet, Facebook, social media. Thank God that you're able to have church with us tonight on Wednesday. And it's always a good thing to be in church. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Especially in the middle of the week, right? On Wednesday, the day, I think they come day, right? The middle of the week. Three days has passed, and then this is the middle, three more days. And we'll be done with this week. And one down, and how many more weeks before the year is over? Uh, figure it out, somebody. <laughs> but anyways, of Thailand, too, of Tato, Fatasi, the Ney, of Yafi. ตายฟังมาแล้วสมัยที่น่าเดี๋ยวนักจะตะโบว่าย่าโลฟีฟีสาวฟาโลโยบะอีเมนเดี๋ยวนักจะตะโบว่าย่าโลฟีฟีสา
And to the husband and wife that are here, they're actually married. And, uh, and all the young people that is here, right? And Jake, you say that Noah's about to get married. Is that what you say, Jake? <laughs> Just kidding, right? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's always fun to be in the house of the Lord. So don't mind me. I get carried away sometimes. Yes. Uh, yes. So the book of Revelations chapter 3, and we're going to read from verse 7 to 13. But the seven churches in the book of Revelation that John writes to is the church of Ephesus, which it says, this is a church that has lost its love. A loveless church. Amen, that we're not that church, right? Some of you are not sure. <laughs> and then there's a, the second church, is this, the church in Smyrna, which is a, the church was going through persecution. And then this was this church called uh, Pergamos, which they were like compromising on things of the Lord. And then there's this corrupt church, Thyatira. And then there's one church that Jesus writes to, which was called a dead church, Sardis. And then number six is a church that had faith, which is the Philadelphia church. Philadelphia, you get the city of Philly from, right? And from there we get Philly State, we love so much. <laughs> And then there's this church which is called a lukewarm church, Laodicea. So there were seven churches, but I'm not going to speak to you all these seven churches. But I want us to focus on the church in Philadelphia, the church in Philly. And what is Jesus saying to them? So if you have your Bibles, turn there, chapter 3 of Revelations, and I'm going to read in Samoan. Uh, I'll attempt to read in Samoan. And you guys follow along. I'm get this right. Fila. Fila telefaya. Uh, yes, yes. You know, fila like the, the clothing line, fila. <laughs> Tele, fila telefaya. Uh, oi nane kalesia lea. O te fia fa manatu atu ati oe. Upwe ye yesu no faya ine kalesia lea etau o fila telefaya. Uh, or the church in uh, Philadelphia. Fai mai la ia upale tfaalinga. Ole na te fa maui na foi ale ai se na te te talaina se amen te loa a fa maui le tua se me le ma fa se si ono to te talaina ai te talaina foi le tua se me ale ai se si le nei o langa po le nei lo langi e fa ma fa ona te puniina be fa maui na se amen o i loa o na loenga fa uta o tuina tu. Yo lumo le fai to toa ua manoa. E le ai foi se mea na te mafaya ona punitia. When God opens a door, a te tale le tua se fai to toa, 
And then my fire, then says your name on line on the on the top of me. I say amen. Amen. Uh, while we are to always see the malosi ititi, small kind of faith, right? But we are to see a la upu. But we are fa. How do we say that? Fa fi tia lo we know. Fa ucha o te tui na tui a te lato o le su na ko sa tani o e fa mai. Or you tie a toe, I love her. I will be better in her toe. Pauta or to take her in a lato, in a ear lato, or what to your number, my ephor to your by. Lato te lo foe, or what you are over lo far to your toe. Se fool, where to see the upu, or low on side, or let for your toe. So see I oi, in a e to waso, a tofu tofu in I o my little lalami uma, a tofu tofu I ye no no for in the lalami. I found her, or to bave a watu. Ye tau fi mau in the bear way out to oi. They are very sentassi low body, praise the Lord. For they man man low, or to fire there. My bow two in the manu manu, a low two. Wow. The letter of the fafo lava here. What a two see four yay the swafa a low two. Malay more or their eye a low two. Or your son and my foe there. El we for my nine lungy, my low two are to a foe, my low in your foe. Ole or yay talinga. In our follow my ear, in the mayor will fetter my yard in the Ganga in the Galicia. Here, Upunale Talent, see a layer in Philatel Fire. Ah, Philatel Fire. Philatel Fire. Say, Amen. Read it in English where it's a lot easier. And the angel of the Lord said to him, Philadelphia, right. It says, write these things. <clears throat> these things says, he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, shuts and no one opens. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. For you have little strength, have kept my word, and not denied my name. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan, who say they are Jews and are not, the lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet, and to know that I have loved you. Amen. 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 Because you have kept my command to persevere. I also will keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole earth world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God and shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down of, out of heaven from my God. And I will write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Amen. Amen. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. If you're here tonight, I hope you have an ear to hear what God has to say to you. Who is he writing this to? A lot to see in Galicia, in Philadelphia. And what is he writing? Jesus says, I know your works. Jesus knows what we go through. And from time to time, sometimes we feel like Jesus has abandoned us or Jesus has let go of us. But I'm here to remind you tonight that Jesus know what you go through. 
Et si le fiel est tu aura mais le fiel n'a pas la écalessia. Il est écalessia là au fil à téléphone, fait mal sur au au il l'a hanga loena. Te il l'a le essaye pas ouvre si le fang à l'étoile. Pour se mettre là te faire mourir pour se mettre la titi et et mana tua le tua et tu tu si a il tu si à l'étoile. Amen. He tells the church, I know you. You still have little faith. And it's always a good thing when we have faith. Rather big or small, we just need to have faith. Amen. And Jesus recognized that in the church in Philadelphia when he said, you have little strength left. Mm -hmm. But how many of us know that with the little strength that God gives us, he can do big things? Amen. Say amen. Amen. For that love that I teach you in my Russia to toy, and the fire that you are on the fire, I even my my Russia, a fire I need to tell him more here. Say, Lord, let's see the fire that you are, but the day that I teach you, it's a day of fire. For my God, look for your Yeshua, Yeshua, I want to hear from Peter, we all toy in. I'm my child among them. I'm my child, I will among them. May Lord Yahi turn out to tell him. That's where they live, in the mountains. And Caleb said, Joshua, don't think that I am a senior citizen. Give me the mountains. I'm going to go and slaughter all those giants up there. In my fine level, Fatu, two on Faltia, say it back. But I call the Atom Matavita. Call the Atom Tomaya, Talana, huh? My Tomaya, I teach you. Sister Mata Mawaluna. You're my later, my time, my teacher Tavita, huh? On the Tangata, Sayayan on the Fatu, two, I hear two. On the Tangata, I live on a year. Fafel Tato in law, find my. Et ça me veut le soumettre en l'eau. Et il y a tout le tout, et il y a ça me veut le soumettre en l'eau. On l'a fait pas non, non, à la CIA, à faire. Fait non, non, ça me veut le soumettre en l'eau. Saul, 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 ah. Et il y a tout le tout, tout le monde. Allez, je l'aime, ma femme, ou tout le monde. On l'a tout, et elle va aller faire faux. Elle va aller tout, et elle va aller tout, ah. Or it's a nata eva ai fafo, and eva ai to ton. For my girl, I'll have to have our Samuel, a Saul at a limb, or more, or, or, why for laying what's my girl, Jesse? Or Jesse, or yes, they are. Saul at a limb, or more, yes, or the apple. By at a bit, or tonate, my luna, or the lake, be or Saul. But my. He is not the one. Samuel, don't look at the outward appearance. Don't look at his might outwardly. Don't look at how handsome his, he is. Don't look at how tall he is. He's not the one. Fasolomai, Fasolomai. Uma, you're the making a yari fale. Bayatu samuel, lay la vasesi. Faymai, yari yeses. Nale, we lay ave, eh. If I eat my way, the pen of fire and go find money. Ah, find my well out, and then we'll find the one or tell him. Little stature, young man, but faithful to the Lord. He came, and Samuel, and the Lord said, That's the one. He's the one. Anoint him. That's the new king. See, it doesn't matter how big you are. It doesn't matter how equipped you are. It doesn't matter what kind of person or what kind of education you had. 
What matter do you have faith? Do you have faith? Jesus always said in the gospel, the kind of faith that's needed that can move mountain is just a little faith. Mustard seed. Mustard seed, small seed. Have you ever seen a mustard, a tree that comes from a mustard seed? Big tree. Jesus says to the church in Philadelphia, you have small faith, but you did not forsake my name. You held on to me. And he says, because you held on to me, this is what I'm going to do for you. This is what I'm going to do. When I say that something is going to be open for you, nobody's going to be able to shut it. <clears throat> when I say that something's going to be closed, nobody's going to be able to open it. That's right. Amen. You know that when God sees your heart and when God looks it, to your mind and to your being and see, Lord, I want to do something for you. But I'm not sure. But I have the faith that you're going to help me. Amen. When Jesus sees that, he's going to take your little faith and multiply it. Uh, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door. Who opens the opportunities for you? Jesus. And sometimes the opportunity is laid out before you, and we're, we're scared. Say amen. Amen. We're scared. I don't want to do that. I don't know if I'm equipped. I don't even know if I'm old enough. And some of us say, I might be too old. But you know what? Jesus is reminding us as he reminds this faithful church of Philadelphia. First of all, he tells us who he is. He's the Holy One. He's the Holy One. He's the true one. He's the one that holds the key of David. What does that mean? This guy that's opening the opportunity has the authority for you to operate it. Say amen. amen. And all we got to do is say, yes, Lord. Let's all say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, I don't know what you're saying yes, Lord, to, but I heard you. Say, yes, Lord. And God heard you. And maybe you're here tonight. Maybe you're listening tonight. And God has been tugging at your, at your coat, uh, bumping your shoulder, tapping your shoulder, whispering into your ear. But you've been neglecting his musumusuga. Kabika! See, God doesn't allow you so much. In a small, still voice, hey, do you hear me? Sometimes we, our lack of faith shuts out the tunes in out. I can't do that. And that's enough for you when you say that, you believe that. But he says, he says to them, I answer, I know your works. I see, I have set before you open doors. And no one can shut. Say amen. Open doors that no one can shut. God is opening a door for you and he's not going to shut that door. Even if you want it shut. If I'm a Taliban. If I want it shut. The opportunity 
Ele manaa rea tua e te paia e te puni e rea tua. Ai se a, e mai langa o tou, e iailo tamai tou, tamai fatua tua. Because you kept my command and you persevered. A little faith is all we need to persevere. Amen. And whatever challenges that we go through, because we answer the call of God, a little faith is all you need to bring you to the next door, to the next step. Right? Because taking a leap of faith requires a step of faith. Amen. Say amen. Amen. It's not we can leap a tall building in a single how does Superman say that? Bound, Bound right? It takes a step. And then my fayo me also knew his memo lunga in escape with Cassi. I can go me fight. I have an escape with Cassi on Fatua Tua. I have a Malesi skip. So I've got a Malesi skip. Before you know it, you're running the faith. Because he says to the church, don't give up. My auto to feed. Our let give up. Amen. Don't give up. Say, stay in the race. Stay in the race. Yeah, that's what they said, but good thing you guys said it too. <laughs> stay in the race. Say, don't give up. Don't give up. Right. So, little power that Jesus has given you is for big opportunities. Say, Amen. La la ba tumai ma lo sina, ba la tumai fa chu chu na, ete chu ma wai le chu a, e fa ya ai me te te. Amen. Ni me la iti. Ke lo me uma na ru na pa le fe au ma na ru na le chu a, o me uma me te te. Ni me la iti. O le o me le ma fa ya ni si o ma fa ya. E fe ma i le le upu a le fa ma lo si e su le ka le si a le a i Philadelphia. Two mount, two mount. Over the fight by fight. For my Yeshua, a lot of them know to a lot of I'm coming quickly. See, coming quickly, you don't know what the time frame is. Right. But you know it's going to be soon. And how many of us know we've been hearing Jesus is coming soon for a while. Mm -hmm. And just, we haven't heard it that much lately. Say amen. It was just like the days of Noah. When Noah kept preaching, there's going to be a flood. There's going to be a flood. And people were so, uh, they were like callous to the words of Noah that there's going to be a flood. That they just thought that Noah was crazy. Ain't no flood. And if it was, there was a, and even if there was a flood, how can they reach upon this high mountain when Noah built a boat? And the Bible says, just like in the days of Noah, we're in just like in the days of Noah, where people are like callous to Jesus is coming soon. And I think even the church has gone uh, weary of hearing and preachings of Jesus is coming soon, but we need to bring it back because it's, it's real. And we're in the very soon. We're in the 11th hour. And Jesus is about to Make his move. And Jesus said to the church in, in this faithful church in Philadelphia, stand firm. Keep running the race. Because, you know, they heard so many voices at this time. This city of Philadelphia was a city that was used to the games. Used, used to athletic competition. So Jesus said, hey, stand fast. I want a few more for you. But I knew there were a few out till the fire. I said, I knew my son, he got longer. Oh, my son, he tell Bahama. And when we're in the game, we hear the, the cry of the people. We hear the roar of the people. We hear them cheering us on. And sometimes when we need to focus, right, is when you're at the home field, who has the advantage? The visitors, mm -hmm. right? If the what you call that San Diego used to be San Diego team, I think it starts with a C. When the Chargers come into Raider Nation, it's all about the Raider Nation. 
They can't hear any chargers chanting. You shut them down. You shut them down. Why? Because we only want to hear one thing. That's the same thing with God. The voices has to be quieted. The voice of God has to be heard. The loudest voice is not necessarily the voice of God. The loudest voice is the voice of doubt. The loudest voice is the voice of the naysayer. The loudest voice is the voice of the complainers. The loudest voice is the voices of those that don't have no faith in you. The quietest voice is the voice of God that say, hold on. You can do this. Take that step. And it reminds the church, church, your faithful church. You've got small faith, but you remain true to my word. You remain true to my command. And because you remain true, I'm going to take care of you when the temptation comes. Amen. When the trials hit you. And he says, because this whole world is going to face trials and tribulation. And we're headed there. Say amen. amen. If you don't think that the church is going to be persecuted, you, you need to wake up and smell the coffee. Take a double shot at Starbucks. Because it's happening. It's going to happen. There's going to be a time when it's not going to be easy to go to church. This church here, they locked them out of their, their worship facility. But they stay true to Jesus. It's kind of like of how we are in these days. We just came through the pandemic. And they had us close our churches. But the true child of God, the one that's holding on to that little faith they had, they continue to come and worship. We continue to love Jesus. Because we know that our faith is not on what we have. No. Our faith is in God. Our faith is not in our ability. Mm -hmm. Our faith is in God. Our faith is not on our bank account. Our faith is in God. Our faith is not on the jobs that he gave you, blessed you with. Mm -hmm. Your faith is in God. Mm -hmm. Our faith is not on how big our family is. Our faith is in God. Because everything comes from God. Everything is His. Amen. His to give. Yes. Even the calling that He has is from Him. That's all upon every Christian believer. There's a calling. Yeah. He says, stay in the race. Don't give up. You need to remain faithful. I will lift up my pipe. To my bear. You let up. Tu ma père, il est en sacre. Et tu peux le sacre, il est là de faire tout. Et là de faire tout, il est là de faire tout. Et là de faire tout, il est là de faire tout. Et là de faire tout, il est là de faire tout. Et là de faire tout, il est là de faire tout. I'm not a big faith type of a person. I have small faith. And sometimes no faith. I tell you what, on les tours. One step at a time. Amen. Say yes first. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. And then take that first step. And he reminds the church, stand firm. Stand firm. Don't give up. He says, run that race. He said, hold fast what you have. That no one may take your crown. We're on this, we're in this race, and we need to keep pace with God. Don't keep pace with, with so and so. If they run fast, let them run fast. But you run the pace that God gave you to run. Not everybody runs fast, but we all need to run. Even if your pace is walking. We used to do this thing in the military called Indian runs, right? Where the last guy runs up front, and then the last guy runs up front, and then we just keep going. And then sometimes somebody would fall back, and then we'd all turn around and grab that guy and put him in the front, 
and then we run his pace. See, sometimes us fast runners need to slow down, run back, grab your brother and sister, put them in front of you, and say, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And slow it down so that they, we don't, no one left behind. Right? No one left behind. No one left behind when Jesus comes, and even when we move forward, we bring all, all, everybody along. Jesus tells them, you know those guys that said, uh, I paraphrase this and say that they are Christian, they're really not Christian. But one day I will bring them before you, and they'll bow down before you. Why? Because you put me first. And because you put me first, I'm going to raise you up. If I find my, if I tear my, out of the two months there, or if I don't bear, now I'm not only a shoe, it's a two months. Amen. If I might be a shoe, I'll find it on my own soul, it'll be my own soul. Like if I find my, it'll be my, you'll be my, my for my. I say, because I'm a two months yet. Yes. Thank you all for two months yet, too. Amen. Sliding backwards. There's one thing that always hurts us as Christians when we don't remain, we don't abide, when we decide that we're going to take a break and step back. That always bothers God, and you know, and it bothers me too. Not in an angry way, but I always think of what could have happened if that person did not backslide. And then I look at how I backslid, and I always think, where would I be today if I didn't decide to just go back and do those things that my flesh was telling me to do? Where would God have me now? It is only because grace and God has brought us here. Brought us here. And I always ask, Lord, help me to always keep my faith, my eyes on you. Because it's so easy to take my eyes off of you and look at those that are besides me, those that are in front of me at times. And those that I don't see. This is the. I live I think I'm here. 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 I'm i and I'm not saying this if I tell it out to a I'll be not to put it like the other. I'm saying this to help you get a perspective on doing ministry. And if I go feel it. If I tell you, if I'm here soon, like I'll see you in Philadelphia, you have little faith. You're a faithful church. Christians, even if you have a little faith, God is saying you're a faithful Christian. I will get down to fight by more fear. I will have I to not by the two. I will have I to pay by the two. I will have I no malosi by the two. I have I the two. If I hear the two of men, no more than one. It's off white. Amen. If I hear the two of men, no more than one. It's off white tattoo. When we keep our stare on God, eyes on God, and not on what we have or who, 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 right. but Him and Amen. only Him, right? Only Jesus. Calvary has a sign over there that says, simply Jesus. That's all we need. Just Jesus. And tonight, that's what He wants to tell. Small faith, it's okay. I will strengthen you. 
Og det andet langt, de tog bare til ture og til Bodhi. Og lå sikkert der på kappen. Lå sikkert der på øjnene med det tur. And he will help us along the way. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jeg har sin åbne for mig. Nå sin navn, hun tager tur. Det er nede her. Halleluja. Hvor er der derfor, at jeg tager i hånden? Mike to Mount Bielo Pato to say amen. And I know that sometimes it's difficult to say this, but you know, hang on to Jesus. If you have whatever illnesses, some of you have testimonies about Jesus took care of you. And some of you might be going through that, but Jesus wants to let you know, I'll take care of you too. Amen. Either God's going to take care of you here in heaven, or he's going to take care of you here on earth, or take care of you in heaven. I like what... Uh, Thank you. I like what uh, was listening to uh, Greg today, and he was telling us about it his life and uh, how he was raised up in an alcoholic home, but mm -hmm. Greg said something about his family, because he lost a son, and he said, I have two sons, one's in heaven and one's on earth, and he said, thank God it's been good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can say that. It's his faith in Jesus that is able to say that. That God take care of us. And even if things don't happen the way he wanted to, and Jesus still may have taken God. Uh, can you still believe Jesus? Even if he calls our loved one home, can your faith still be in Jesus? Faith still be in Jesus. Because that's what it's all about. That's why we keep serving God. Because we can honestly say that God is good. Yes. He is good. Amen. And his mercy endures forever. Yes. Amen. His faithfulness is for from one generation to the next generation is from my life, my child's life, my grandchildren's life. That's how good God is. Amen. That's how good he is. Even if your children don't do what you want them to do, but maybe that's what God wants them to do. Amen. Parents, when my children were young, I always try to talk them into being doctors and lawyers. They grew up and none of them pursue education. But that's okay. As long as they love Jesus. <laughs> and as long as you love Jesus, you just keep praying. Amen. You just keep praying. I'm going to sing a song before we end in prayer. Whatever song the worship team have, we'll sing it with them. But I want you to think about this church in Philadelphia. Jesus said you have little faith, but that's how you need to do big things. And Jesus says, this is how you do it. You do it, you do it like they did it. They remain faithful to him. That's what we need. Standing on the word of God, on the promises of God, on the principles of the word of God. And that's how we'll make it through this world. Where's the team? You are the God.
We got our prayer meeting on Saturday. Come to prayer meeting. Uh, then our next week, 22nd at 6.30 is the board meeting. And the 24th on Saturday is our church business meeting. And also we want to discuss our, our building and all the improvements that we need and those kind of things. So don't miss out. Come to prayer meeting. Could stay for the business meetings and and the rest of that. Um, women's ministry, did you have an announcement? Yeah, we have a meeting on Friday at six thirty. Women's meeting Friday at six thirty in the AM or PM? Yeah. PM. 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 At their uh, president's house, so be there. For your meeting. Anybody else? Youth or anybody? Don't forget, 8.30, planning session with all the leaders. Bring your plan. If you come without a plan, then I guess you're going to buy all of us lunch after the meetings. So you better show up with them. And then uh, right after the planning meeting is our church business meeting for the six months, uh, the first six months. Amen? God bless you. Go with the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.